Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I thought I'd throw out all the rules again this week and try something way over the top. So let's go ahead and get into this mermaid decoration. Alright, so the very first thing I want to put out this week is this is very much about not planning but about more just decorating because I can. Um, there will be room to write things in here but quite honestly there's not that much going on so you might as well just use this as a bit of an artwork kind of thing. So I'm going to start off with uh, taping this down. I'm aware that this is going to be a long one. So yeah, just, just be ready. I've, I've pre-done a bunch trying to save some time. So I hope it's not as long as I think it's going to be, but it, it could be a really long one. So I'm just sticking these down so that I can ink up without them moving around quite so much. I have left a teeny weeny, or I'm going to leave a teeny weeny little gap in between the two but as much as I can I do want this to look like one one scene so we might still move this over so it's gonna be I'm gonna start off with some stencils so this one these are the the hillside stencils from Lawn Lawn Fawn and I'm just grabbing this one so we're gonna kind of make a sandy bank on the bottom so I'm gonna start off so we might move this one out of the way just so I don't accidentally get ink on this page. Um, so I'm going to start off with this one and just kind of make the sandy bank look like this. So the easiest way I find to do this is actually to stick this down as well. Now I did deliberately leave that, there we go. So it wasn't going to take as long to do. There we go. Um, so I'm just going to stick this down. And then when we get to the splattering bit for the sand, because you guys have seen me do sand enough. But I will sort of do it slowly. Uh, I'll do one slowly anyway. Um, I'll put another piece of paper up here to protect the top. So for the sand, we're going to be using antique linen and vintage photo. So start off with antique linen for that nice white kind of sand. So start on the stencil and then come off. And we're just working straight down onto the page. You could do this with die cuts if you wanted, if you sort of decide you wanted to do it an easy way, instead of inking on. As much as I can, the background is going to be flat so that I can then use the, the die cuts that I've done or the stamps and the dies that I've already done to kind of make the, make the critters and stuff pop. And so then just with a little bit of vintage photo, I'm just going just along the top just to give a little bit of a shadow. There's a little bit more of a shadow. There we go. Alright, so I'm leaving that completely and utterly in place while we do a bit of splattering. So I'm just grabbing out a bit of scrap paper just to protect the rest of the page. start with just a little bit of water just to give it a little bit of texture just wipe that off and then just with a little paintbrush just a bit of flicking now you can use white as well I'm kind of debating it at the moment yeah my usually I use my acrylic paint but it's just a bit well, it's not a bit anything it's just you might as well use some other stuff so Let's give this a go. Just put a little bit on the on the mat. So just with a different brush, I'll just grab this one. Actually, that's had glitter on it in the last couple of days, so let's not use that one. And just a little bit more water. I don't think it's going to be opaque enough, actually. So I'm just going to try without any water because maybe I just put a little bit too much water on it. That's better. It's not as good as my acrylic, but it's okay. Sometimes it'll look like you're not actually hitting the page. That's okay. You will hit it. And if you're having real issues with it, grab yourself an acrylic block. Flip this way. Both work, just slightly differently. All right, so there's our sand on the left. We're gonna do the same thing for the sand on the right. I'm just gonna move all this off. So I'll pick this up, pick up the stencil. wipe off a little bit of the mess. I 
I'm not going to move it completely off because I just want to be able to line the stencil up first. So it's going to clean this off and then we can just line it up. Stick that on and then we're going to repeat that exact same process on this page. So I'll just put the other one off to the side to let it dry. I'm just going to go ahead and do the sand on this side. Actually, sorry, I changed my mind way too much. I'm aware. I'm just going to have it... No. I was going to kind of try and change up so it didn't look like it was the exact same thing on both sides. So I was going to kind of go the other way, but I think it'll be... It'll look silly. But I'm going to go slightly higher on this other side. Alright. Inking time. I've made a bit of a boo-boo because I forgot to spritz it with water first. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to tidy everything up around here. That's going to hit it with the heat gun so it's dry, but then add a little bit of water over the top. But that way I shouldn't mess up any of the, um, the specs that I've already done. It doesn't look like much on camera but in person that that actually made a difference so all right so now we're going to do the opposite of what we just did i'm going to put a bunch of water on top of the sand so we're going to use the mask in reverse to do this so instead of having it this side we're going to use it sorry use the stencil as a mask in reverse so we can clean this all up so i'm going to stick this further up the top because I'm going to use the mask, use the stencil as a mask to make sure I don't get too much coverage. Now this is me, I like to leave it just a little sliver of the, of the area showing and that's so that you don't get um, you don't get like a line between the two. Sorry, I had trouble working out what I want to say there. So I've got the stencil stuck in place. I'm going to stick the paper down in place. Now this is a little harder because obviously I want to be able to ink the whole thing. So I'm going to work out where I want my C to go to, which is basically to the top. So the top is where I'm going to stick that bit of washi. And then for the actual ocean waves, because I don't want it to be flat, because that's not realistic. I'm grabbing another one of the stencils. This is the wavy stencil. And that's sort of going to be, it's still out of those hillside ones, but that's sort of going to be my, my wave line. It's a bit bigger than I would like, if I'm being deadly honest. I would prefer it to be slightly shallower or slightly calmer waves. But it'll, it'll still work. So do the same thing, I'm going to stick this down to hold it still. And then we should be able to ink up all around it. So for the ocean, I'm going to do three colours. I'm going to do Faded Jean, Salty Ocean and Mermaid Lagoon right at the top. Grab my brushes. So I start off with Faded Jeans at the bottom because obviously that would be the darkest because it's the deepest and then you get lighter as you go up. So because I've got four colours and sort of three bits here, I'm kind of going to go here, here, here and here-ish, kind of. And I'm basically not paying any attention to this as a plan a week because yeah we can't so just start at the bottom because it's just going to be a pain so i'm just going to stick i'm not going up too much further than this anyway so that'll be fine i'll just move them as i go so it'll look a little messy at the beginning but i promise it'll all come together i don't actually like faded jeans too much i think that's actually too dark so what i'm going to do is just put that little bit at the bottom but then it's going to come straight up into Salty Ocean from here. And we might even put a lighter colour on top of Mermaid Lagoon. I haven't decided yet. Salty Ocean will give me the blue colour that I want. Okay. So I just work at blending the two colours together first. 
then you can move on up. So I've got those together and they kind of come in with both brushes to smooth it off. Because it definitely doesn't look right at the moment. All right, that's just bugging the crap out of me. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more washi and stick the sand down underneath. So I don't want to move my stencil if I can avoid it, which I can't apparently. So we're nearly done with the stencil at the bottom anyway, so it's okay. There we go. There's a little bit of work involved in the blending. It's so worth it when it gets on there though. Alright, so then we're going to keep coming up with Salty Ocean just a little bit further, probably up to about halfway through Tuesday, I think. If you have any of these patchy bits, you just go back over with a little bit more ink just to work it out. And remember, this is water, so water's not ever going to be perfectly smooth. So if it's a little bit messy, that's okay. And then we're going to come on up Mermaid Lagoon, which is again just another shade lighter. So I'm going to use the same brush as I used for Salty Ocean because it's not it's not too dissimilar. Actually, I'm looking at that thinking I need another lighter colour at the top. I'm just going to bring in Broken China right at the top. Just because I feel like it's a little bit, it's just going to be a little bit too dark. Oops, that's the wrong colour problem with having them all out. Now we'll move up into that broken china. And the good thing is those last three were so easy to blend together. So you can definitely see the, the different shades as it goes lighter at the top, which is what we want. So I'm not putting any of those inks away because we're still going to need them, but this is when we're going to get out a lot of water. So I want to do, there's going to be a lot of different spritzes on here. So you're going to start off with just a plain spritz sort of from up, up high-ish because you want sort of a mist. Make sure you get the whole page. And give it a second because I want that to react. I want a little bit more time. So that's going to give you sort of the, the, the base of the bubbles. Uh-oh, stuck to the thing. So it gives you that first base of it. Now if something's not quite right, just go back over it with the brush. Something's not quite right there, but I don't know what it is. So now that we've got that first lot, I'm going to go back in. So I'm going to put this one on my hands. So there's a bit of pile of water, and they just kind of flick. So this will give you slightly bigger drops. And again, let that react for a minute. That will be more drops you can put, the more it'll look like ocean, or look like water. Aha! It looks like ocean! That to me looks like the ocean, when I'm under the ocean. There's always plenty of bubbles, so that's what I wanted. Alright, now that that's done, we can take off all the masks, or stencils, whatever you want to call them now, um, and put this one off to the side, and you can start on the other side.
think I still need to do something with this light. I know I need to do something with the sky. How good does that look? Um, I'm going to go crazy because I am crazy and we're aware of this. Um, and put clouds back here. You don't have to. You could just really easily do just a pale blue sky and that would be fine. Because I'm a crazy human being, I'm going to go that little step further. So I'm just going to take these together and grab my cloudy, oh, hold on, we'll grab the, the wave first because we're going to use that to mask off the wave. And this one's not so important that you leave a, leave a gap because we're deliberately trying to do the, it, it'll have white there anyway so you can leave a little bit more. I'm going to use my favourite for skies which is tumbled glass but you could use anything else. Um, now this is a little bit more difficult because this stencil doesn't go the whole way along the page. So I'm only going to do one line of it anyway. But I'm just going to use one and come across and just move it as I go. So I'm not going to stick this one down because this one needs to be a little bit more transient, if that's the right word. So we'll just start in the corner and come down. So it's actually got two stencils over it right now. I am being a little bit more heavy handed than I normally would. So I've got that little bit. And then we'll just line that bit up. And then I'm coming back in very, very lightly, just kind of coloring the rest of the cloud. And again, clouds aren't perfect, so it doesn't matter if they're a bit wispy or a bit uneven, because they're allowed to be. And when you pull that up, you've got your little cloud. It doesn't quite look as good as I wanted it to, but that's okay. Do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to spin this around a little. Almost no need to do, almost no need to do that little corner. So it's kind of going to help me get away with this. I'm just going to make the small, the smaller ones. about tumbled glasses it can be so good as a really dark blue but it can also be really great as a really pale okay they're not gonna do anything speckly to the top no, no don't do that see look I said nice things about the washi tape and then it goes and does that it's all right just grab a little bit of ink and go over the top of that you never know to bring in all of my images. Now I have spent the last day or so cutting out and colouring in a bunch of images for this so that it was a little bit easier because I didn't want it to be a 50,000 year long video to do this. So I've got a bunch. I'm going to tell you which ones they came from as I kind of work out where on the page I want to put them. Anywhere I can cover up a day, I will, but they are so hard to see right now, I don't think it really matters. Uh, so this one here is from Dana, and then we've got Mermaid For You all over the place. By the way, this rock from Mermaid For You is the best rock ever, and I may be getting the kit, the stamp set for no other reason than I want the rock. Um, the submarine is from You Are Sublime. <sighs> I'm sorry, it makes me so happy just seeing those. Um, the seaweeds are from mermaid for you as well and i have a bunch of those and a bunch extra in case i need them the narwhal which is my favorite as in colored wise that's from uh yeah mermaid for you as well we've got another rock there'll be lots of rocks and then we've got some corals and bits and pieces and these are going to come from a combination of i think you are sublime fantastic friends and just keep swimming and Mermaid for you. I think that's all of them. So I'm just going to kind of put most of these where I think they need to go. Sometimes I find just a little bit of paper from the die cut still stuck on them, so I just like to fix that. There's a combination with the seaweeds of the stamp stamp and the 
the coloured and I'll show you a way to add a bit of shadow so that they don't look washed out in a sec. I did, I did make sure there was a lot of coral because I needed there to be a lot of coral. Oh, and this is one of my favourite bits. So I did a, a set of rainbow fish, whether or not one goes on one side of the page and one goes on the other. So they actually go from red to orange to yellow to purple. It's so good. Now they've got a seahorse there. And then here we go, we've got other kinds of seaweed. And I can always add more. I've got plenty of seaweed around the place. So just to add a little bit of shadow to some of these seaweeds, I'm just grabbing one of my Copics. This is G28. And I'm just putting a very, 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 very thin line just along the side of the seaweed. And it'll blend into the, the oxide just a little bit. But it just means that it's not as flat because the other ones are very dynamic because I've put two like coloured with two shades so I'm trying to do the same thing here so I'm just going to go on the couple of seaweeds that I've got and do that and again it doesn't have to be 100% perfect because things under the sea aren't perfect and then we'll do the same thing for the corals in a second because they need the same kind of dimension added some of these down so I'm going to start off with a bit of seaweed on the side I'm going to be using liquid glue for this just so I've got a little bit more time to wiggle them around and definitely going to be using a jewel picker to kind of help me so I'm going ahead going to go ahead and stick these down and you guys can just sort of follow along because I don't think you need to hear me talk through exactly where I'm putting everything you just sort of see the scene being built up. me looking at my phone I've kind of had a, a placement in place for a lot of these so I, I wanted to follow along with that um, I will say I like this side better than this side because I've gone with the hill and I've left some room I should have done that on this side but anyway anyway all right so let's start getting some of our mermaids and other bits and pieces in I love that narwhal so much it's so cute so I'm doing the exact same thing. Obviously now we're just working with slightly bigger images. Um, I have got glue all over my hands. I, it's a, it's a, <laughs> kind of can't help it. Um, but my, my little hint with all of this is don't put too much glue on. You don't need a lot. You feel like you're not putting enough on when you do it. Trust me, you are. So like just a couple of little dots is enough. You don't need to go over the top with this. Um, because too much glue squishes out the sides and that's harder to, and it's, then it gets sticky and it's just a pain. Um, this little mermaid is going to sit on this rock. She's going to be the only one that sits at the bottom. She looks like she's sitting anyway so that's perfect. Uh, she does also fit on the narwhal so if you wanted to have her, I'll show you without. 
she sits on the narwhal pretty easily as well, but I want to have her sitting on this rock. Kind of, she's my my one sitting mermaid at the bottom. And then we're gonna put Mr. Shark. Oh, I love Mr. Shark. He's a friendly shark. Uh, now all of these were coloured with Copics. They're all on Express It blending card. It's the best combination I've found so far, so I tend to stick with it. And then we will find ways to put stuff in because I don't I still want this to be a plan a week I don't want this to be not but I, I kind of like the idea of it almost ignoring the fact that it is so the rest of these big ones I am going to go around and put them down first I want that crab at the top on that rock too uh, so I'm going to go and start putting these down and if I need more I can always grab some more so I've got the two thingies of fish Eels technically should be coming out from behind a rock or something, but I want him sort of a little bit higher than that. So eels do swim. If you haven't, if you've never seen an eel in real life, you'd, you'd think that they only stay in the little rock holes, but they do. They do come out. done a few things differently here so I need to come away from my script of my mermaids a little bit. Now the only difference between the mermaids, so they've some of them, they've all got different coloured skin, just slightly, I was just playing with skin. Um, but the boy mermaids got more of a blue tail than the girls. The girls have got like that minty green kind of colour and the boys got something different. Boy, yeah, there's only one. It's just a matter of placing these down until you find the right spot for them. I love that little puffer fish so much. The puffer fish got too close to the boy mermaid, so he went poof. I think that's actually okay. I think that's about enough. I don't think I know. Um, I don't think I need too much more than that. So I'm going to go ahead and stick all of these down and I'll be right back. I love those rainbow ones sort of in the middle. I'm actually half tempted to get, like do another set and have them have a few more, but I won't. I won't. Yeah, I'm basically singing a little mermaid in my head. And I had to do one of them as a as an aerial. I couldn't not, but and then this one kind of looks like flounder, but and I'm actually I'm, I'm I'm actually very inspired to go back and make another card very similar to this where it kind of looks like aerial and flounder. But I don't know who I'd give it to because I don't think anyone like my nephews certainly aren't little well. They're not Little Mermaid fans like I'm a Little Mermaid fan. Oh, that is stuck. Um, so I don't know if that's if they get the reference. So I'm sort of not sure. My sister does watch, and so do the kids. So if you guys want, if you want a Little Mermaid card, please tell me because I'll, I'll happily make it. And I am so getting this set. This is I borrowed this one from my friend Simone, but I'm so getting it. All right. Where's my lid? There it is. So I think they're all stuck. I certainly feel stuck. And I have managed to keep the back side of that one clean, so that's even better. All right, so now let's actually make it a bit a, a bit more plannery, because we can't not have it be plannery at all. So I'm gonna grab my Oscar and Lou stickers. These are my favorite day, days of the week ones. They've got a little bit of a white border around them, so it'll kind of fit in with with the the dies a little bit and I'm just gonna stick these down I'm completely ignoring the fact that I've probably got the days in here somewhere already so the fish here is covering up Monday but it's not fully covered but that's all right it, honestly you can't see it so it doesn't really bother me that much and then when they've been completely covered up 
I can move them to wherever the heck I like. So I'm just going to play with these and put them down. like a planner week to me I can still look at that and go yep that's plannery but I know of, of, it, it's a, it's it's not art but it's it's just a little bit more and that just makes me really happy and I can still add in all my other stuff so like for my planner jammers I can put this in too now I know I forgot to put these in last week I kind of was a bit Blech. So it didn't occur to me to remember to put these in, but I have gone back and retrospectively done it. I'll just leave Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday free for now, because I'm not sure if that's happening. Uh, but I will grab a Planners Anonymous one for Monday. Just getting this out of rainy days, because I think that colour will work better. So we'll use this greeny kind of one so I'll put that up there as well just to remind me for that one and then I'm gonna leave it just like that I'm not gonna put anything else on there for now but I can so still use that there's plenty of room still to write I can write behind them oh my god I love this so much I think I, I, I think my, the submarine is my favorite I think maybe uh, very closely for oh no, the narwhal then the submarine but this is how I get my planner juices back. If, if something wasn't working, like it definitely wasn't working last week, if something isn't working, throw the rules out. Throw the whole thing out and go, you know what, I can make whatever the heck I want and I'm gonna turn it into this. I love the fact it doesn't damage the other side. You can't see the blue, so why not make it into whatever the heck you like? So I need to send a big thank you to Simone for letting me borrow her mermaids. Yeah, I'm getting the mermaids. I It's one that I've sat on for a while and been like, I don't really need the mermaids. I definitely need the mermaids. Uh, but thank you, Simone, for letting me borrow it and for sending me down that hole. I hope you guys did enjoy this slightly longer one. If you want to see me do the colouring, I feel like the colouring is something that I'm not... I'm getting better at, but it takes me a really long time and isn't something you guys need to see on camera. But if you want to see me do the colours, please let me know and um, I'll make sure to start trying to do that a little bit more often. Don't forget to give this one a big old thumbs up if you did enjoy it and make sure you subscribe to my channel and let me know if there's any other kind of whole big scene themes you'd like to see uh, with weekly decorations. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic week and I will see you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.